Greetings, today we're going to be using automation to get our job done quicker and to make life sweeter. This is an ETL workflow uh, that means extraction, transformation, and loading. And we're going to go into why we need it. So let's assume that you need to get leads, right? You have to find some prospective clients for your product, service, whatever it may be. I have to do it in order to sell my web applications. And I want to just talk about an example here. Assuming you're really great at converting, 10% is a great conversion rate, right? You would need about 100 people to come visit your app and then 10 of them to sign up, right? But how do you get those 100 people, right? To get 100 people, you have to find them or they find you, you may say, but let's assume here that you have to find them when you first launch a product then um, it takes time to find them right and that's why i want to show you how to automate this process using a tool such as nan right so the idea here is simple we want to go to reddit find clients and want to use artificial intelligence we're going to use the service called open router that provides all the famous llm providers out there whether it's gemini gpt 4.1 whatever it is and then finally add those leads in a clean format into uh, Google Sheet. So this is basically an extraction transformation loading step, right? So here's the workflow. It's a data extraction step that entails retrieving the information from recent posts from Reddit for certain keywords from a specific subreddit. Then you go into your transformation step. This basically means that we're going to use the artificial intelligence to read the post content and then answer basic questions such as, is this a promising lead? and please summarize this content for me right because sometimes people write really long posts and then we're gonna do the transformation steps and end up with a g sheet first step is connecting to reddit oauth 2. so all you do is click here you open and then you're going to select the credential create a new credential and here's the OAuth redirect URL that you need to paste into your app. So I'm in uh, Reddit forward slash Reddit.com forward slash preps forward slash apps. And we're going to go to my test app over here, edit it. And then it shows the client ID and then the secret, which I should not be divulging, but it's just a test app. Never share this with anybody. And then uh, the redirect URL is already configured, right? So I'm just going to copy paste these into the NAN. And now I'm going to connect my account. And it's going to ask me to allow access. And I do for the purpose of this demo. And the connection was successful. So here I'm going to configure my subreddit and my keywords of choice. So I'm looking for a... Uh, subreddit specifically to make the search easier and more specific under entrepreneur, right? You have to find the subreddit of your interest uh, beforehand. And the keyword here is uh, how do I find leads, right? And my limit, I will keep it at um, 50. Uh, you don't want to exceed 100 queries per minute because then you're going to be throttled by Reddit. And uh, here I tested the step. I always recommend you do that after you configure your credentials just to make sure that everything's working fine. And uh, here we do a filtration step in order for us to pass through what we care about, right? So the conditions are that there have been upvotes and that there is uh, a text that has been posted with this um, post, right? Because it could just be, let's say, an image that somebody posted, but we want a text. And uh, we also are making it such that we are picking posts that have been made in the last 180 days. We want things that are recent, right? You can configure these to whatever you want. You would do this by looking here on the left hand column for, let's say, picking something that may have been gilded, which is like, you know, something that's been awarded by the community, right? So that's something that you should consider. In any case, Filtration is necessary. Next, you do a selection of the key fields. Just really quick, um, we name the upvotes uh, field after the json.ups because that's how the API from Reddit passes it to us, right? It just has little acronyms for it. And the subreddit underscore subscribers, again, you know, this is coincidentally passed into us as the same value. 
uh, but the post content we're giving it a name as post content but actually it's self text so um, you know everything else is self explanatory but this is also really key next up we have the transformation step and here we want to configure our LLM prompt and the model as well next up you want to configure your model the prompt that is and the particular LLM model that you're using so here we are with the basic LLM chain and the prompt here is basic we're just saying decide whether this red post is describing a business related problem or a need for a solution now this is being configured because we want to say that to the LLM hey can you help me figure out whether this is something I should be working toward right this is a lead that's actionable and ultimately we're passing in the reddit post and it's gonna output a yes or a no right and we're gonna filter filter for it right here so the model that we chose here is the open router provider so we just choose the open router account and we set the credentials already I'll show you how to do that and we chose the model which is 4.1 mini you can choose free models as well right and let me show you how you know you just type free here and there are plenty of free options that come up i only recommend you do free models if you're going to be doing about three to five leads at a time because there's throttling that happens from um, open router for free model inference and um, here's how you get your key right like i already have an example generated i have um, over here an account I just create the key as a test and you know you're going to create a key again and then you just copy it over and uh, that's it really um, and you can choose any model you want in the future and not be and not be bound to one and then it's going to merge the outcome the output rather from RLM which is the yes or no answer for whether this is a lead with the other key fields which is the URL of the reddit post right and the actual post itself then we're going to filter and if it's indeed a lead we're going to pass it through for a post summarization step and then um, I'm doing an editing of the fields in this step we name the response dot text of the JSON as a summary then it's going to merge the two inputs the fields from before and this new output from the LLM into our G sheet which we have configured just showing you if you want to connect to a G sheet you have to connect to a Google Sheets account you connect with OAuth 2 and you choose the sheet within the document and you're going to be appending the row in this case because uh, we're just adding entries one by one I've already configured my ID, the ID, something you find up here. If you go to your G sheet, you're gonna see docs.google.com, spreadsheets, forward slash D, forward slash a long a string with uh, numbers and digits, right? That's your ID. You come back and then you just map it over here. Uh, and then finally, you choose your sheet of interest. I have chosen already, automatic mapping, and we're ready to go. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run this. After we save it, and testing the workflow and you can see over here it's running it's finding some leads found items that is processing passing them on over here and um, let's see the results in a minute great and here are some of my leads um, you know somebody's looking for the best alternative stripe and um, that's a typical example somebody you know that you can consider as a lead right um, and they themselves are looking for leads as well because they're looking for a solution right can you provide it to them um, that's the question right and um, yeah I mean this was quite quick it took me only two minutes to actually get the results it took about 10 to 15 minutes to run to actually set up but uh, now you have it for free happy automations